it's time to have a look at the March estuary box and see what goodies all of our subscribers got this month. To kick things off, we're going to start off with a little hard body. This is from Fishcraft. Um, Fishcraft have been good, good supporters of Tackle Club over the years. And this little lure is a fantastic addition to the estuary box. 38 mils long, 3.6 grams, dives to 50 to 60 centimeters. Little crank, absolutely perfect for targeting bream on the flats, the shallows, along pontoons. Um, yeah, white can have a, have a crack at it as well. Real good lure to have, handy addition to the box. What do you have, Chris? We've actually got another finesse presentation in there. We've got a flopper 38 from Ticked. Uh, just a tiny little sinking stick bait, 38 mil, of course. Uh, these shimmy on the drop, so you're basically just casting it next to the structure you want to pull your fish off, letting it sink down. Chances are it'll smash it on the drop, otherwise give it a flick up and it'll, again, start to vibrate down. Another way to use these that I really quite like and don't see a lot of people doing is sort of use it like a surface lure or cast it out, burn it and twitch it along the top, and then as soon as I see that bow wave of a fish behind it, I'll just kill it dead, basically falls straight into the fish's mouth. I, I love these things a lot, so it's cool to see them in a box. What else have we got in there? Okay, so this month we've got leaders, and this, um, this particular one is a Seagar brand, which is a Japanese brand, very well Jap known Japanese brand. It's a fluoro shock leader, it's 30 meters in a soft spool, and this one is in a 10 pound size, so good all rounder whether you've got uh, chasing bream in the heavy structure or you're chasing flathead in, in open waters, good all-rounder, and everyone always needs leader in their box. Definitely need leader. Yeah. We've actually got another surface lure this month from ProTech. Now, uh, that's Berkeley's brand. This is called the Prawn Walker 75, so we're at 75 mils there. It's an interesting design. It's got, I wouldn't say it's a cup base, but it is sort of like a flat base, so you're going to get that prawn splash of the water that doesn't just do a big bloop. Uh, the colours in there are all very natural. I think a few people are going to like them. And there's quite a bit of weight on it. And the way that it ties on will get a big long cast there because it's pretty aerodynamic in that shape. Just work that like a normal popper, but you can actually walk them as well. So little twitches of the rods will get it walking side to side. And what else have we got? Oh, sweet. So, so far in this box, we've got a shallow crank We've got a thinking stick bait and we've got a surface lure and a leader. So it's perfect for the sun of year. And to round off this month's box, we've got a pack of Domeki Armour Shad uh, paddle tail. These are three inches in length. It's 10 in a pack, so real bang for buck there. Got a nice deep body with a bit of, of a slip in there so you can get your hook in. You know, fantastic action. Now you can throw this for bream. Um, the flatties will go crazy for it. If you're throwing it in around docks and that kind of thing, pontoons, you're going to get a bit of jack by catch. So just be prepared to get smashed up there. And if you do multi species, bass love them as well. So a nice all round soft plastic to round up the box this month. And that's it, guys. That's our March estuary box done and dusted. If you like what you see, visit our website, tackleclub.com.au, and sign up for your box today. Till then, happy fishing. That's your letter. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. If you like what you saw and you want to win this exact box, just comment below what your favorite lure is and we'll draw the winner in a week's time. Till then, happy fishing.